Hi, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about skincare, uh, specifically my personal morning and nighttime regime. Um, most of the products that I'll be speaking about today are actually from a brand called The Ordinary. Um, they are now selling in House of Fraser's in Glasgow, and I'm absolutely been blown away by them. Uh, very affordable. Uh, most of the products range from about five pounds fifty to about think the most £14 but most of them is like £5 and the products are absolutely amazing and they've really made a difference to my skin since I've started using them so uh, a lot of the products I'm going to be speaking about today will include them. So what I'll do is I'll speak about my morning routine first of all. So the first thing that I use in the morning, you can build your own skincare regime with the ordinary so you need more than one product to work and my number one is niacinamide a uh, three drops of this i put on my skin morning and night and this prevents blemishes it reduces redness it tightens the skin uh, it helps also fight wrinkles it is just amazing absolutely love this so I use that first of all then I'll use The Ordinary's Buffet and that is a, a serum which is to help fight ageing. Again, you can apply this morning and night also. I use it both times. Three drops of this after the niacinamide. Thirdly, my product is, especially when my skin is looking a bit dull and needs to look a bit brighter, um, I use the Azelic Acid Suspension 10%. Um, this is a brightening formula. You put it on the skin, it, tightens the skin instantly, makes it look brighter, redness is reduced and uh, it's a really good product. I love this so I'll use that next and then I'll use like a daytime moisturiser. I don't actually really have any preference just now when it comes to daytime moisturising. Um, I have been using the Ordinary's moisturiser which I find is really nice as well and it's very lightweight so I, I do sometimes use that so and um, that is my morning and I also will use in the morning uh, for eyes nip and fab uh, fixes no needle will fix eye it's a really good eye cream helps fight wrinkles and it is very lightweight and doesn't make your makeup slide off so I love this it also reduces puffiness as well which is great so I use that in the morning and the evening so for the evening um, my skincare regime is slightly similar I will again use niacinamide and buffy three drops put that first of all and then three nights a week I will use the ordinary's granacto retinoid two percent um three drops of that again avoiding the eye areas this is very strong and can slightly sting but that if you want a product that's going to fight wrinkles is it's this is the number one ingredient is retinoid so Long term usage, amazing results. Um, I've only been using this for about a week now, and I, I the the lines that were starting to form in the middle of my forehead from like frowning and when I'm driving trying to concentrate, totally vanished. Like I feel as if I look as if I've had Botox, which I haven't. Um, I I'd say it's the retinoids. So three drops of that after the niacinamide and buffy at night time, three times a week. I would say. You can build up after a while but I would, wouldn't say any longer than that and always remember to wear an SPF the following day after using this. So another product that I'll use sometimes is the Ordinary's Lactic Acid in 10%. So this is supposed to be like a sort of peel but it's literally just like a, you put a few drops on your skin, instantly tightens the skin instantly makes it look better slight irritation but this is an amazing product as well and this is also um quite a high form strain formula to fight wrinkles so really like this product so i use that a couple of nights a week and um, what i do after using my ordinary skincare also is i use rose hip oil and um, apply a few drops of that onto the skin at night time and it's uh, just really nice and it's so good for your skin. Um, I use that and then I'll use a moisturiser. But the number, I uh, basically fluctuate between using Angela Langford's uh, Rest and Regenerate Night Balm. This is very greasy, the only thing. It smells amazing, it's all natural. It's quite med med medicinal when you smell it, but this actually, I would say this has really changed my skin Um blemishes are gone i don't know what it has in it to do that but it's just 
like it's like food for your skin it is absolutely amazing use this a few nights a week um, my skin has never been better I'm absolutely obsessed with Angela Langford's natural products now and I wouldn't basically use any other night balm except from this I absolutely love it but if I'm not using that a couple of nights a, a week I will use Murad retinol youth renewal night cream and um, this is quite strong so as I said I would only use this a couple of times a week um, to really see the results but it's got a handy little kind of pump at the top and it's just so good I love it um, so I use that at night time as well and I forgot to also mention um, if I'm using a toner the one that I always use is La Roche Posay Zero Zinc it is a spray formula and you just wipe off again with a cotton pad it's absolutely amazing it helps fight spots uh, it's just so good for your skin feels hydrating and nourishing it won't strip your skin like some other toners do so i really love that too so i'm um, sorry it's quite a quick video i just uh, wanted to I'll put this up and i'll put some of the links on my website to where you can buy each of the products and i hope that's helped you and uh, thanks again